Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can connect the ESP32 microcontroller development board to the Arduino IDE. So let's get right in. This is the ESP32 microcontroller. Think of it as the Arduino cousin, except it comes with built-in Wi-Fi and sometimes a Bluetooth. I know the newer version of the Arduino does come with a Wi-Fi, However, that was not the case with the older version of the Arduino. Uh, it's usually cheaper, which is not a bad deal. Let's look down here. There are different versions of it. There's like a mini version and some design come with a Bluetooth. Some come with both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now I flipped over to the Arduino IDE. So let's see how we can connect the board to the Arduino. First, we need to click on file and preferences. Under preference here, if you scroll down, there is this additional boards manager URLs. So here you can add the link or the URL for the board you want to add. You can see here I have two URLs, one for the ESP8266. This is the older version of the ESP32. So it's the same concept, but it's an older version of that board. And if you have multiple, you can actually separate those URLs by a comma so you can see here i have a comma and i have the other url which is for the esp32 so this is the url for the esp32 don't worry about it i will leave it in the description of the video so you can just copy and paste if that's the only board you're adding you can just add this url here if you have multiple you can separate them by a comma like so now you've added the URL under File, Preferences, under Additional Boards, Manager URLs. Click OK, and we're going to move on to the next step, which we are going to go under Tools, Board, Boards Manager, and search for ESP32. You can see here in the result, the second option is the one we want, ESP32 by Espressive System. I'm going to click install and give this a few seconds or a minute or so to complete and I will come back after this is done and we're almost done here. Now the package installation is completed. You can see I can choose the board from the board option. If you go under tools, there is a board here and you can choose the ESP32. You can see there are multiple options here. In addition to that, if you go under file, and if you go under the examples, now you will see an additional examples for the ESP32 that weren't there to start with. So this is it for this one. Uh, you should be able to connect the board and select it from the list, and you can upload some of the examples to blink an LED or do whatever. I do have a, an upcoming project using this board, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.